Well, thank you everybody so much for coming today. As you can see outside uh, in Albuquerque, we are blessed with 310 days a year of absolutely beautiful weather. Uh, today is no exception and as spring comes upon us, we wanted to, to uh, come forward with an initiative that I think could be such a meaningful thing for our city for lots and lots of reasons and we're gonna talk about it today. We've got some uh, uh, local celebrities with us, if you will, some folks who've uh, dedicated their lives to wellness and to fitness and we're gonna have them speak in just a minute. But what we're here to talk about today is it's time to step it up Albuquerque. And what does that mean? Well, we talked about the great weather that we have. We talked about um, the fact that we've got a, a, a robust walking trail system. This is a city where you can get out any day of the year and do something active. And that is absolutely vitally important. But what we want to do is have a program where people can easily get involved. And Step It Up is a program where you can get involved simply by clicking the mouse on your computer, simply by lacing up your tennis shoes and going out for a walk. And you can go out for a walk by yourself. You can go out uh, for a walk with friends and family. You can st uh, start new groups through organizations that you belong to. There's really no end to this. So what we're asking people to do uh, today is to go to our new website, stepitupabq.com. Stepitupabq.com. And when you go to that website, you're going to get tied into this program. You're going to find ways. You can see we already have 270 members almost of this. We've already had uh, 96,000 uh, steps walked. Well, what we're going to do with Step It Up Albuquerque is we're going to get a pedometer in your hands. What's a pedometer? This is a pedometer. It's something you can simply uh, wear on your belt or carry with you during the day, and you can log how many steps you take. Why is that important? It's important because we have the data. We know the numbers. We know that walking, even a little bit more than you did yesterday, has tremendous health benefits. And I know Dr. Ramel is going to talk about that in just a few minutes. But we want you to get these pedometers. We want you to wear them around town. It's got our nice logo on it, you can see. And we want you to join the club. And when you join the club, you're going to be able to go to the website, and you're going to be able to track your progress. So it doesn't matter if, you're, if you haven't had an exercise routine in any time in your life or if you haven't exercised for many, many years. Or if you're an elite athlete, you may be training for a 10K or, or something along those lines. There's something for everybody in this program. When you go to stepitupabq.com, you'll be able to sign up as an individual. You'll be able to sign up as a business as well, or we're looking for team captains. I was telling Dr. Raymond earlier, we have 300 neighborhood associations in the city of Albuquerque. If we can uh, get all those neighborhood associations to have one person in their neighborhood that simply organizes a walk, once a week, twice a week, three times a week, whatever it happens to be, get your community together because this is about being social and it's about having fun as well. As a business, you can sign up in a number of ways. We're going to talk about Loveless in just a few minutes. Loveless Health System uh, is really one of our uh, is, is really our ground floor sponsor for this for this initiative. Uh, they've purchased pedometers for all their employees. We have a number of other businesses around the city who are, who are purchasing pedometers for their employees as well. Starting this, so now we can have companies uh, competing against companies if we want to do that. But this is going to be driven from individuals, neighborhoods, and businesses. Also, businesses can join up and be sponsors. We're trying to set up a system, and we think we can do it with Step It Up, where if you walk into a local business and, and you have your Step It Up pedometer on, maybe you get 20% off of a low, low calorie meal. Maybe you'll get a discount on running shoes or whatever it happens to be. Uh, we think there's tremendous opportunities there. We also think there's tremendous opportunities if we can get Step It Up uh, clubs around the city of Albuquerque to help out the run for the zoo or the Susan B. Coleman walk or any one of the other uh, really great social things that we have going in our community. So why is it important? It's important for a couple of reasons. If you look at the chart here in the United States, you'll see the obesity charts from 1990 through 2000 through 2010. And what you see there is you see that obesity has swept our nation. And you'll see that uh, there's not a state left in the country that doesn't have an issue with obesity. Albuquerque is one of the top fit cities in the country. In fact, I think on one of the recent polls, we were the third most fit city in the country. Yet we have 20% of our population who is clinically obese. If you look at the U.S. healthcare expenditures as a percentage of our gross domestic product, you'll see it just keeps going up and up and up. So there's a lot of data that goes behind why we should do this. But we also want people to understand that life's just better if you're feeling better. And uh, Dr. Ramo was telling me the other day, you know, wellness begets wellness, and, and feeling good uh, uh, means you're going to feel, uh, feel better. And we also think there's a social component to this. If we can get people just to join their friends and neighbors and get out and take a walk, 
uh, it would be an absolutely fantastic thing to do. With that, I'm going to bring up my good friend, uh, Dr. Barry Ramo, uh, who's really an acknowledged, the acknowledged expert in our city when it comes to health and wellness. He talks to us every day uh, on the news about things that we can do to make our lives better and become healthier. I'm just absolutely thrilled that he would join us as, as a spokesperson for this. So with that, I'm going to bring up Dr. Ramo. Thank you very okay. much. Nice to see you. I always hate to stand in I always hate to have to stand in front of a group because you have to hold your stomach in the whole time. But I'm, <laughs> Yesterday I saw a man who was 55 years old and the first thing I always talk to people about is exercise. And I said, do you exercise? He says, no, I hate it. I said, why not? He said, well, I, you know, I just really don't think it's very important. And that really is a story that resonates over and over again in my office. People don't understand that exercise is really the central feature of a healthy program. Why is that? Well, exercise affects so many things in your, in your life. Number one, exercise, and everybody knows this is good for your heart, but far more than you think. If we get our kids to exercise, we can change what happens inside their arteries. Our kids are sedentary. They've taken school. They, they don't have exercise in school anymore. This program will allow parents to take their kids out, grandparents to take their kids out, and think about bringing exercise as a, as a feature in their life. Exercise changes the way your blood vessels react. It changes the way your heart functions. But the thing that most people don't realize is that exercise has a powerful effect on your brain. I use this for the people who don't want to do exercise for any other reason. Exercise has been shown to grow new brain cells. Over and over, we're finding this in animal models. Now, more recently, in the last few years, what we've been able to demonstrate, researchers have been able to demonstrate, that instead of having your brain, the element, critical element of your brain shrink as you get older, it actually can get bigger. So it grows new brain cells. Now I have to tell you, if you stop exercising, all that benefit goes away. So it's good for your heart, it's good for your brain, it's good for your spirit. People who exercise regularly feel empowered. They feel better about themselves, they walk up a little bit straighter, and when you start to feel better about yourself, then you'll start taking better of yourself, care of yourself. You start eating right. You'll get rid of all that white stuff in your diet. You'll start measuring your cholesterol and your waistline and make sure that those get good. And the final thing that's important for anybody who's got a business is that you want to get your employees in this because exercise drops to the bottom line. Every single study that's been done shows that for every dollar an employer spends on exercise, they get $2 back in productivity. The third aspect of this, though, is that people who are working are productive. There's a term called presentism. That is, these are people who are at work, but they don't do anything. And we've all seen people like that. Exercise will change that factor. So it's good for your heart, it's good for your head, it's good for your spirit, and it also goes to the bottom line. So I really think this is an important program. I want everybody to get behind it. If we do that, we can change the health of New Mexico. And one thing that I'm very excited about is we have a good sponsor. Loveless is really committed to this. They put a lot of money in this, and the only way this is going to work is for somebody to put a lot of money in it. And we also have Art Garden Schwartz, my longtime friend, who is a great athlete, and he's going to be the, the real champion of this program and is going to make it uh, very exciting and it's going to work. But I am really pumped up about it. I think everybody should be, and I'm really grateful to the mayor that, that for the first time, really, that we're getting this kind of support from the public sector. So thanks, Mayor. Thanks. Thanks, Doug. And you can, uh, you can start this Saturday. Our first uh, Step It Up walk is this Saturday. Uh, you can go onto the city website at cabq.gov, or you can go on to stepitupabq.com. We're going to have a dozen locations around the city of Albuquerque where we can get started this weekend. I'll personally be at Bloom Fiesta Park at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. So everybody show up to Bloom Fiesta Park, or you can call 311 as well, and you can find out. Uh, we made sure that there was locations in all the quadrants of the city so that we can get together. We can get you hooked up with your pedometers. We can get you signed up. Uh, we can start down the road to a, to a healthier city and a healthier you. As uh, Dr. Ramo said, you, you have to have advocates. And, and we've got someone in our city, uh, Mr. Art Garden Schwartz, who's really been synonymous with sports. Uh, whether it was Garden Schwartz Sports or now it's uh, Garden Schwartz Team Sales. But more than that, um, Art's just been a true believer on, on health and wellness. And he, he not only does he talk the talk, but he, he literally walks the walk. He was up mountain biking, he told me, 
uh, earlier this morning. So he's, he's, he's a health nut and he's, uh, he's agreed to help us out with the community aspect with that. So I wanna bring Art Garden Schwartz up to say a few words, Art. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mayor and Dr. Ramel. I'm really honored and excited that he asked me to get involved in something like he says that is a personal passion. I am, I, I was cross country skiing yesterday and mountain biking this morning, and where else but New Mexico and Albuquerque can you do that? So I believe we have the best climate in the world to really be outdoors and be healthy. And as Dr. Rainbow said, it's, you feel better and you feel more productive and just a, you're, you're a better, better person all the way around. So, uh, and I am challenged by the idea that we have beautiful trails in the city, bike trails, walking trails, running trails. We have swimming pools provided by the city. There are just lots of opportunity. And I love the zoo run, which is May 5th. Uh, it's been successful with about uh, 11,000 people. But they have a walk, they have a run. I'm challenged to take Step It Up, get people who've never done it, never don't know exercise, and get them to participate. So, so I have a personal goal already to get 5,000 more people this May 5th into Step It Up. So uh, I thank you very much. I look forward to working with all of you and the city and trying to help us. And, and also, I, I just want to mention, we have beautiful hiking trails right here in the mountains. Spectacular. So uh, I do hope to create the culture of different groups with the neighborhood organizations that people will want to go out and be healthy. Thank you. And as uh, Dr. Ramo also said, you just can't get this done without partnerships, and, and partnerships are absolutely key. And our ground floor uh, sponsor for this particular uh, initiative has been Loveless Health System. Uh, we, we pitched uh, Loveless on this early on, talked about the concept of doing something that everybody can understand, that everybody can get involved with, with that's easy, that we can have a social component make new friends and simply get people healthier. And uh, not only has Loveless stepped up significantly from the monetary standpoint, they purchased these pedometers. Uh, they purchased 6,000 of these pedometers for our city of Albuquerque employees. So anybody in our organization that wants it uh, can have one of these as well. And we're doing so much of Step It Up without uh, taxpayer money. We're doing it, we're trying to do as much of it as we can with private donations and private contributions. And Loveless has just been a great partner all along. Uh, Sherry Malone is here. Sherry is the CEO of Loveless Women's Hospital, and I'd like Sherry to come up and share a few of her thoughts as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, this, is, this program is, is really very exciting, and at Loveless, we are really excited to be able to, to be a partner with the mayor and the city of Albuquerque to help push this forward. The mayor and I were actually just at a, a luncheon today, the Go Red for Women luncheon, point of that is to raise awareness of heart disease in women. And one of the things we know about heart disease, um, as Dr. Ramos said, is exercise is so critical to preventing heart disease. What a wonderful program, Step It Up Albuquerque, to get women out there exercising. And one of the things that we do always hear is, I don't have time. Uh, not even so much I don't like it, but I don't have time. Walking is a wonderful exercise, and you can do it anywhere, at any time, so it's really such an easy way to get started, to get healthy and get fit. So we're very excited to be, to be a part of this, to help businesses and individuals to start walking and get healthy. Um, at uh, the Loveless Health System, as the mayor said, we did get pedometers for um, all of our employees at Loveless. We thought it was important to get everybody participating because we really want our employees to, to live a very healthy, long life. We want them to be productive at work. But we also thought it was a great idea to also help out the city and get all of the employees in the city pedometers. And I would love to challenge other businesses in Albuquerque to help out in the same way, because there's lots of organizations that that maybe is an expense they can't afford, but if some of our businesses out there in our community could help with that, that would just be another way we could kick off this, this wonderful Step Up Albuquerque program. Uh, again, we're just, we're very excited that Loveless can be a part of this, help get it started, and we really want everyone out there to sign up. The website's going to be very easy for you to use, and you can actually sign up your steps on there so you can see your progress, and you can see progress of other people in the community. So it's going to be a great program, and hopefully we're going to make New Mexicans and people in Albuquerque very, very fit and very healthy and live a long, long time.